evening to everyone. Um, delighted to have um, Marion here tonight, and I'm sure Nick will be on his way. Um, I hope he is offsetting his uh, carbon mileage. <laughs> In fact, we might need to inquire when he arrives. Um, I am absolutely delighted to be part of the launch of Code Red today. It's another great, great step for Nelson. Uh, great initiative, and uh, congratulations to the people that have put in the hard work to make it happen. It really is a positive step for us all. Um, it's um, an excellent example of community motivating itself and organising to take action, and I really do applaud this. Because as a council, um, we constantly juggle the needs and requirements of all of the sectors of the community, and we have many and varied expectations of what we're able to deliver. So when we see groups taking independent action that complements and it fits really alongside the goals and aims of this council, we're absolutely delighted to offer our support. We're um, taking climate change issues seriously and we're aiming to address climate change through a number of council initiatives. We're a member of the communities for climate protection. Um, we have a strong focus on doing what we can to reduce emissions within council as an organisation and by encouraging others in the community to take action. And we're doing really well on our communities for climate protection um, um, process. We've got a, an action plan in place at the council and we're working our way um, through that. There's some pretty ambitious climate uh, change and CO2 reduction targets in that. Um, council has had an option about setting um, sort of low down here targets and they went, no, 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 we're aspirational, we're up here, we really want to get behind this and so we have and the staff are really on board as well. One of our goals, and I just know we're going to achieve it, is to be uh, New Zealand's first solar city. And I just think this is such a brilliant, brilliant idea for Nelson. Where else in New Zealand would we have a solar city? We could have a solar city. The, um, we could have a solar town in Blenheim, but I'd be really annoyed with Blenheim. <laughs> announcement of the $100,000 grant that we got from ECA and the $50,000 donation from the Tyndall Foundation is to fund a study for 25 homes and businesses as a pilot project. And um, the pilot's the first of its kind in New Zealand. It will um, be a trial of smart new software to look at optimising energy and cash savings through solar hot water schemes to see what they can deliver. The council is so... Um, are feeling really committed to this project and we're feeling sufficiently positive that in our council um, community plan that's coming out to you all shortly in an abbreviated form in your letterboxes sometime at the end of March, I think, um, you will see that we've also committed to a loan scheme um, similar to the Clean Heat Warm Home Program which will allow um, in the first year approximately 200 homes in Nelson to sign up to um, have solar hot water systems and rolling out to 500 homes per year after that. I cannot, um, I can't uh, undersell this actually, I mean oversell it, I can't oversell it. <laughs> um, we've had, um, I think we haven't even launched it yet but I would already say that we're, we, you know, almost oversubscribed by people inquiring wanting to get on the program and so I just think it's going to be fantastic. I think it's going to be so good that I think we will be very soon as a council going back to ECA and um, seeing if we can enlist some further support out of ECA for some funding to top up um, the scheme because I think it's really worthwhile. And um, so watch this space because we will certainly be talking to the relevant ministers and the Prime Minister on that because we think Nelson really is going to be a solar city and it's going to be a great initiative for this country. The Sustainability Forum is another venture that um, we're really proud to get behind and a lot of the people in this room have, um, participate in the Sustainability Forum. It involves a really broad range of Nelson organisations who are working together to coordinate events and uh, projects related to sustainability. The overall aim is, is to make Nelson a regional, Nelson region a national leader in sustainable development of communities and businesses. Um, We've also been supported in council by central government with, um, um, to support a free eco-design service and um, providing advice to people building homes um, or doing renovations. And um, that service is going incredibly well. You may have met um, Richard Popenhagen, who is a full-time employee working in um, Richard, 
Why is Richard? <laughs> Richard, um, it's going really well, isn't it, Richard? It is he is, um, he's offering, well, he could tell you, but I'll tell you quickly, a whole range of, um, he, he's dealing with a whole range of topics, including energy, um, water, waste, sustainable building uh, materials, and also building-related health issues. So he's working with designers and building companies to provide them with information on sustainable best practice and its benefits. And um, look, that again, that service has been so well received by this community to date. I, I just am um, every day convinced that Nelson, Nelson, the Nelson community just cannot get enough of these initiatives. Nelson people really are living sustainability and um, that is such a great achievement for this community. I'd just like to quickly thank some of the people and organisations in Getting Code Red um, up and running, and of course um, we have to just offer the biggest thanks to the Nelson Environment Centre, the home of Code Red, to Transition Nelson for their vital role and to the Chamber of Commerce for organising this evening's event. Um, in advance, I'd really like to thank um, um, Dr David Rapp for being here tonight, making the trip from Wellington. And I'm going to apologise to you, David, unfortunately, because I'm trying to be two people at once, so I'm not going to be able to stand here all of your speech. Um, I'd also like to acknowledge all of the businesses who are here and participating in Code Red. And uh, as Katrina said, um, apparently I now need to walk the talk and um, start the ball rolling and make a pledge. And uh, I'm told that individual councillors are not allowed to... Um, commit council resources. <laughs> I got that told very strictly. Sent four emails from the chief executive. Um, but on behalf of the council, so <laughs> because I assured him it would be cost neutral, and it seems like a very little thing, but I actually think it's going to have a very big impact. Um, we have an email system, and we send out thousands of emails every day, and thousands of emails come in. And one thing I've noticed is um, our emails don't have those little words on the bottom that say, um, please, please don't print me unless you really, really have to. And that might seem like a very little thing to do, but um, we will be rolling that out on all correspondence that comes out of the uh, council offices. And internally, I think that will make a difference as well. Um, it's just one of those reminders that it's a really simple thing to do, but it actually does make a difference. But on behalf of the office of the mayor, and this is what happens when he's away. So I sent him an email to say, I'm pleading you to do something. He went, oh, no. So we are, ple we are, our pledge is that we're going to adopt a reserve as a biodiversity project, uh, rehabilitation project. So you will see us out there in our gardening clothes quite soon. Um, we are aiming to uh, have a gold standard carbon sink. And uh, Derek, uh, all other councillors are going to participate this in, in this activity because we thought it was a good councillor bonding exercise. And they'll be getting <laughs> advice of us soon next week. Personally, as many of you will know, I have quite a lot of work to do. But apparently this was a business launch, not a personal launch. However, I have made an effort, and I've parked V8 in the garage for the last month. <laughs> And I substituted it with the V6. <laughs> but the mayor in his reply email, as he said, yes, all right, I will pull weeds and plant trees. He said, but you're going to have to make more of an effort. <laughs> so um, I have um, committed, along with Mike from Stoke Cycles, to go and get my new bike and start riding my bike, and Mike tells me that um, very soon I will be able to ride Richmond. <laughs> and, and over the Tantra G, which is a bit frightening, but there you go. So um, that's it, that's what I'm going to be doing. And also, because I looked through all the opportunities there, after being put off for many years with composting, after having some nasty baby mice experiences. <laughs> I'm prepared to become a serious composter again and I will be going to Council's Introduction to Composting <laughs> course on the 21st of March. Is that right, Karen? Mm. Victory Square and I will be becoming the best composter in Nelson. So um, without further ado, I suppose in conclusion I really would like to thank everybody um, who's been involved with Code Red encourage you, everyone to stay focused on this, um, stay motivated and together I actually am positive we can make a difference. I think this is such a huge step forward and something that is tangible and real for the people of Nelson and I'm looking forward to seeing the number of pledges that are going to go on there. I think we really can make a difference. So thank you all for being here. Um, enjoy the evening. I'm sure you will.